This is the first ever piece of South Park related media that Matt Stone and Trey Parker made. And here is my version, made in just 5 days, 32 years later. This isn't officially the first episode of the show. That title goes to Cartman Gets an Anal Probe. But it is clearly the start of what would become the show that we have all come to love. Or hate, depending on who you are. I told you not to put that f***ing hat on Frosty's f***ing head, now didn't I? There's just one problem. This is the highest quality version surviving in 2024. Actually, that's not the only problem. The names of the characters are all f***ed up, the audio is really choppy, and somehow the voices are even weirder than the current show, but that's beside the point. What I'm getting at is that for years, this has been the only way for all the South Park fans to experience the first of the boys' adventures, and I don't think that's good enough. So for the next few days, I'm going to be doing God's work and saving all of the South Park fans from ever having to watch this abomination again by reanimating the whole thing into the first ever 4K full screen version. And later in this video, you will see the first minute before it has even been released. Please subscribe, this video took too long. Obviously first, I need to make all of the assets which can later be animated, but to keep to the tradition of the episode being animated in stop motion, I'm going to be doing it a bit differently. Instead of a mouse and keyboard, I'm going to be using scissors, glue, and a sh ton of colored paper to make all of the characters and props. But why not just make it in Blender and do it all quicker? I hear you ask. Well, one, because it's more fun to do it like this, but mostly two, because it means I'll get the texture of the paper and all of the elements, which will closer match the original than if it was just perfectly smooth geometry from Blender. Just look at how smooth this geometry is. We don't want that. I started by picking out a colour palette for each of the boys. It's kind of crazy just how different Kyle looks in this version, but it is also cool just to see how close they managed to get the designs for the other three right off the bat. Now, I can just use these hard plastic outlines to trace onto the paper and then cut out the right shapes for all of the different parts that make up the characters. Just like the original, I simply drew on the details like the eyes and other lines of their clothing with a black pen. And after a few hours, I had a full main cast. I knew that later when I was animating, I would need versions of the boys drawn from both the sides and the back. So I cut out a few extra pieces of paper to create the different angles. But I need these character designs to be in the digital format so that I can animate them. Yes, I could animate this in stop motion like the original, but right now my animation space is all taken up by this massive set for my stop motion short film, so I'll have to do it in the computer. I set up my lighting and then took pictures of all of the separate parts with my camera, and then what I can do is cut them out and drop them into Blender, where I can animate the actual episode. But we are nowhere near ready to do that yet, because there is still a lot of characters and props to make. Let's quickly go through some of them. We have three main background buildings which I can then duplicate to fill out the shots, a dead tree with snow on it for the intro, a Christmas tree, and all of the parts to put together a full Christmas nativity scene. I actually only recently discovered what a nativity scene is. Apparently it's something that most kids in England recreate in primary school, but I grew up in Australia and I had never heard of it before. Making the frost character required a bit more time because he has so many different faces, and he also has to be shown from both the front and side. And then I also had to make his tentacles so that he had something to kill the boys with later. Yeah, just taking a step back and thinking about it, it's actually a really weird episode concept to have an evil snowman dressed up as Santa killing kids with his tentacles and then fighting Jesus Christ, but you know, each to their own. When I made my character model for Jesus, I thought I screwed up because it looked a lot like Moist Critical, but when I checked the original, it turns out it is meant to. Maybe this guy is actually the second coming of Christ and none of us really Realized. And here are all of the things I will need to remaster this piece of South Park history. There ended up being 90 unique elements, which all had to be painstakingly photographed and then cut out to be brought into Blender. But now that that's all done, I'm ready to animate. But instead of doing that now, I feel like it would be more fitting to do a short history lesson on this weird short film for those who are confused. Jesus vs Frosty is a short animation made by Matt Stone, Trey Parker, and other animators at the University of Colorado. It was made using construction paper, which is basically just normal paper, but a bit thicker and more durable. It was premiered on December 1st, 1992, and tapes of it ended up getting handed around until Brian Gaydon, who was the executive of Fox Broadcasting at the time, saw the short animation and in 1995 gave Matt and Trey a budget to make an episode called Jesus vs Santa, not to be confused with Jesus vs Frosty from 1992. Jesus vs Santa was the first episode to really have the characters and the look of the show nailed down, and they genuinely managed to get it perfect from the start. After that, Comedy Central saw what was happening and wanted in, and in 1997, five years after the release of Jesus vs Frosty, Matt and Trey would finally release season 1 of South Park. So that is how Jesus vs Frosty led to the creation of the real show, which is why I think it is so important this episode is remastered to bring back a piece of South Park history. Now that everyone is all caught up, let's actually start making this thing. As 
I said before, there ended up being 90 different parts which will all come together to make all the shots in this film. They are grouped by character and type, because otherwise selecting the right thing is really hard due to these being image textures applied to planes. Everything will be done in 12 frames per second, as opposed to the normal 24 that most things are animated in. I'm doing this just to closer match the choppiness of the original. I started on the opening shot from the moving camera, and then kept going, setting up shots, animating them, and then going on to the next one. I had to go back to the original and constantly check what mine should be looking like. And that means I had to hear this singing pretty consistently for days on end. There must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found. Or when they placed it on his head. I think my ears might be bleeding. Just look at all of the keyframes I had to place to animate this thing. There are so many. Blender naturally wants to make all of the movements perfect using math. So to combat this and make it look more like the handmade original, I added lots of keyframes that technically made the animation wrong, but kept it closer to what I am trying to recreate. Oh yeah, every time I see this shot of Jesus throwing his halo at Frosty, I can't help but remember this line from Lil Wayne on the song Mona Lisa. Do I treat a halo like a frisbee? It's not relevant, it just makes me laugh, and that's all I care about. I really tried to hold myself back on improving any of the shots, but I let myself add this small 3D camera move to this shot because I thought it was subtle enough. If that bothers any of you, then just f off. I ended up with 2,470 frames to render in 4K, but once that was done, the only thing left to do was add the mouths. I could have just used the same mouth shapes that I usually use for South Park animations, but I decided to draw some custom ones to match the original closer. And that's it. So, after 32 years, this is the first ever 4K full screen version of Jesus vs Frosty. It will be released in 24 hours after this video, but just for you guys because you watched all the way to the end, here is the first minute. Oh yeah, and also please subscribe because this took a lot of time to make. There must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found, for when they placed it on his head, dude! What? Don't put the magic hat on the snowman. Why? Because if you do, he's going to come to life. Cool. No, it's not cool. My sister in, in Minnesota put a hat on a snowman and it tried to kill her. Fuck him. Let's do it anyway. Yeah. There must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found. But when they placed it on his head... Whoa, whoa, now tell me what happened slowly. Okay, we're just building.